grabs tonight the title of baddest man on the planet as we get set to crown a UFC heavyweight champion. Oh, he landed a beautiful straight punch there, DC. He's got an edge in reach and certainly is making it count this one. His misses are entertaining. And there's that jab. All right, so this boxer told us he has done nothing but defend takedowns over the last eight weeks, and he's able to stuff the first shot tonight. John, I was smirking. <laughs> I was smirking at the fighter being like, okay, this guy's just talking. But nope, he goes out there and he does exactly what he said he was going to do. This has to be a massive boost to his confidence as this fight goes forward. Beautiful combination by the champion there. Oh, he's doing a real good job of level the strikes too. Oh, nice. How do you get out of harm's way here? I mean, you gotta shove that knee, John. Oh, man, both of these guys can really take a shot. Well, he's looking for that left hand. Just out of range, though, with it. Great punch landing with so much power. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Nice jab by him there. He's going nose hunting tonight, huh? Yeah, he's great with the jabs. And not only as a setup, he really is trying to get damage off every time he throws this punch. Another takedown land. Trying to pass the guard here, but a nice job by the bottom fighter defensive. Bottom fighter did a fantastic job of following with his hips, making sure he blocked any attempt to get past his guard. But at least staying busy on the bottom. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Pavlovich. Making all these shots count. And there it is, another strike gets through on the ground. Pavlovich is back in half guard, very comfortable here. This is where he wants to be. Good movement on the ground here defensively by the Korean Super Bowl. Nice job employing the elbow there. Oh, now he's gonna find himself in a little more danger. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Pavlovich. All right, this is not where you want to be. You don't want to be on your belly with your opponent on your back flattening you out. Pavlovich is back in full mount. Two minutes remain in the round. Need to work. Gotta be careful there, yep. Choice in half goal. Ground and pound strike there now. Get the ball here. Right to side control, yep. Right side there by the champ. All right, a good ground and pound by him here, certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off of you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. Nice shots landing from the top position. Another ground and pound strike lands. Let's go, push, push, push. Get oh, staying busy, fighting off of his back, and he lands. Several strikes here from the top, standing over his opponent. Good work here by Pavlovich. Great shot from the top position. Another one. I mean, he cannot miss from the top position. Big right hook there by the champ. Pavlovich is in half goal. Final seconds of round one.
Five. Second round, straight ahead. Stop, stop, stop. All right, so the takedown's the big storyline in that previous round. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC, and got to be pretty discouraging to get grounded that many times in one round. Oh, it's so discouraging because all you want to do is let your offense go, but every time you're getting dragged to the floor constantly, you're starting to get fatigued. He's starting to wear on you. Let's see what type of effect it takes on his offensive approach as the next round starts. Ready to fight. Ready. Round two on the way. All right, so here we go with the next round. Shades of your teammate, Khabib Ramadan-Medov, in round one. That's some serious ground control. Oh, absolutely. And the ground and pound starts with just tremendous control. And if you watch Khabib, just as we're watching this young man right now, they're always in control of the opponent's movement. So when the opponent goes left, they don't try to fight him and pull him back right. They just follow the hits. It's almost like they ride the wave. It's insane to watch a guy that has so much confidence in the top position, just knowing that wherever you go, I've got a trap set to secure you when you get there. Tries to work it into a takedown. Sure, his nose is bleeding now. Yes, looks as though he got cut by one of those offerings from his opponent. All right, so a good job defensively by him here as he raises the guard and prevents any damage. Shades of James Tony. Always seeing things coming at him. He's such a great defensive fighter. Oh, he missed with that right hand. Beautiful take down to the lane. Oh, and he moves into half guard. The guard pass is starting to pile up. Right away, he takes the far side underhook. Look for damage from the top to come down. Well, the more things change, the more they stay the same. He continues to land a high volume of strikes on his opponent at will. Well, I mean, John, the guy can fight everywhere. And he can fight everywhere, meaning... He can fight on the ground, he can fight in the stand-up, but he's also able to do it because his cardio is so good. Right. This is one of the best fighters that we have seen for a long time, and it is showing in this performance. Pretty good head movement. He's avoiding a lot of these ground strikes. He's doing a really good job putting himself in position. Oh, big pop from the crowd as they get back to their feet after a pretty scintillating grappling battle there on the ground. Well, it's an educated crowd, John. They appreciated all the grappling exchanges and how, how skilled both of these men are. Well, he's really starting to land a high note. Oh, big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that finish. Choi's blocking well now. Made the adjustment, protecting what is an already damaged nose. Oh! Oh, big right hand! Nice punch to the head. Pavlovich gets hit by that leg kick. You may want to start checking some of these. That hook was bad! Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Two minutes to go in the round. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Well, we got a lot of blood now, ladies and gentlemen. I think my mother just turned off the TV. But every time that area gets targeted, that cut is getting worse and closer, theoretically, to the end of the fight. Yeah, and, you know, when you got a person like this in front of you that is so good at what they do, when you are bleeding like this and the work is showing, you gotta try to find a way to stop him. He needs to try to get a takedown or something. Because the more he's standing, the more he's gonna have to deal with this cut. And now, all the blood that's coming from the cut. Different round in the striking clinic continues. Shades of Max Holloway back in the day against Calvin Cater. Every strike he has thrown seemingly is finding the target. I mean, it's, it's landing. Everything is landing, J.A. And coming into this fight, he understood that he had an advantage in this particular skill. I don't know if he could have even expected it to be this vast as we have seen to this point in the fight. Big puncher. So again, he shoots for a takedown. He has certainly tried to wrestle offensively tonight, but that attempt did not work. We do see a commitment to trying to secure those takedowns. We 
did not anticipate him having to take this many attempts. How long until he gets discouraged? Nice punch to the head. Oh, they're trying to keep shots here. We'll see who's the last man standing. Oh, brilliant execution to land the roundhouse. Oh, huge strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Oh! Oh, beautiful level change. Oh, staying busy fighting off of his back, and he lands. Two rounds in the books. All right, so the round is over, and you see the cut man not wasting any time as the fighter makes his way back to the stool. The cut man will try to shut that cut on the bridge of his nose and prevent it from becoming a factor here moving forward. All right, and being told we've got some replays from the previous round, and it appears as though the cut on the bridge of the nose is getting worse by the minute. It's getting worse by the minute, and he's got an opponent in front of him that wants to target it. He wants to hit him on the nose over and over again. I wonder if every time he gets hit there, the blood goes down into the mouth, making it difficult to breathe. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous fight. Yes, it wasn't a bar fight. It wasn't two guys going to kick and sink at each other. But you did see times where they came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Oh, they're trading huge shots here. We'll see who's the last man standing. Relax, relax. Keep your Just out of range with that right hand. Joy gets caught. Maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Lands a good combination. Jet by Joy. Well, I'm no fighter, but if I rock a guy to that extent, I feel like I'm closing the show. Absolutely. You gotta go pull the show if you get a guy hurt that bad. You cannot back off and take your time. He's right for the picking. Go and pick the fruit. <laughs> oh, wow. How about the roundhouse kick? Joy's cut on his nose is just pouring blood at this point. You wonder if that's impacting his breathing by now. Big elbow there, Lance. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Massive good lands, and his opponent seems to be on his way out of the fight. Oh, punches and punches. Well, DC kind of just playing with him at this point. Oh! Another one, hurt. He's hurt bad. Well, he was setting up the hooks early in offense tonight. Watch for him to try to set it up again here. If you're the bottom fighter, DC, what do you do? You got to move. You got to shrimp. You got to get off on a hip to try to move your opponent off of you or pull him down to close the space. Get them out here. Trying to pass the guard here, but a nice job by the bottom fighter defense. Bottom fighter did a fantastic job of following with his hips making sure he blocked any attempt to get past his guard. Side control now. Oh, man, another ground strike gets through. It's going to be Motrin in the morning. The swelling starting to appear. Moving his head on the ground here, avoiding a lot of these big shots. And it looks as though he'll let his opponent stand up here. Yes, he will. Oh, he's hurt bad. Joy's really pleading now. That cut is only getting worse. His misses are entertaining. Nice elbow there, and another one. Oh, he's got the single collar locked in the clinch now. Oh, nice. Oh, that's his, 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 his
opponent in a lot of trouble now. That was Cain Velasquez's punch of choice. Every time he lands that overhand right, he hurt people bad. And this guy has his opponent hurt very badly again. This is where he wants to be. Well, no feeling out process tonight. Both fighters invoking damage on the other DC. Yes, we knew this would be very competitive. We knew that this was a tough fight. We knew that both guys would be very evenly matched in this fight. But we didn't expect to see this type of war between these two guys. Well, just exhausting watching some of these takedown attempts. He's unable to get it. And he's attempting them over and over again. How long before he... Big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that finish. Big right hand. Oh, oh these guys are absolutely getting after it. Huge shots landing on both sides. Man, what a fight. Some beautiful kick lands. Final seconds of round three. Nice uppercut by the champion. That's three rounds. We're now headed to the championship rounds. All right, take a seat, bro. All right, there's the horn signifying the end of the round, and he heads back to the stool, and hopefully he can stay in this fight because that is a severe cut that he's dealing with right now. All right, so now we have some real adversity. There's a cut on the nose. Hard to know if that's impacting the breathing, but some definite damage in that previous round. Yeah, some real damage. And now when you get a cut like that, that is in a bad spot. Because every time you get hit on the nose, it's so jarring. And then the blood starts to go down into the mouth. He's got an uphill battle ahead of him. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, here's round four. Fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, fourth round is now underway as we get to the championship rounds. What is a fighter's mindset when you get to this 16th minute of the fight? This is when you understand that nothing is ever going to be harder. This is the hardest round in fighting. This is going to really test your will and your desire to become champion. The body shot. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to take that finish down now. Oh, you got to love the ground and pound strikes here. Well, he's on his back, but he's moving his head on the ground pretty well defensively. And he will let his opponent stand up here. Choi's making things really difficult for the opposition now as the fighter continues to target that damaged nose. Unable to land with that punch. Mavlovich's his nose is bleeding now. Yes, looks as though he got cut by one of those offerings from his opponent. All right, working inside the closed guard now. Really doing a nice job getting these shots home on the ground. Oh, and another punch on the ground gets through. May need some defense here. Well, this is not football. Targeting is legal, and he is going at that cut, which is getting worse with every passing ground strike. Just over three minutes to go now. Man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing damage. Oh, yeah. No pity path to this guy. This guy's trying to land. He's trying to land effective strikes. Well, we got a lot of blood now, ladies and gentlemen. I think my mother just turned off the TV. But every time that area gets targeted, that cut is getting worse and closer, theoretically, to the end of the fight. Yeah, and, you know, when you got a person like this in front of you that is so good at what they do, when you are bleeding like this and the work is showing, you gotta try to find a way to stop them. He needs to try to get a takedown or something. Because the more he's standing, the more he's gonna have to deal with this cut. And now, all the blood that's coming from the cut. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple of oh, the accuracy and 
right there. His opponent's wobble champ. He's hurt bad. He cannot take another shot like that. Yeah, no surprise to see him rinse and repeat as he continues to target that swelling upstairs. Targeting that swollen eye, getting back after him, making him... Oh! That'll do it! Oh, my goodness! No judges needed this time around! Oh, my goodness, what a fight! All right, let's get it inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, two seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, the Korean Super Bowl, Du Ho Chong. So the Korean Superboy 